G'day everyone, I'm Jazz and today I'm going to be following along with viral and popular pancake art videos. And I'm going to be inventing my own. So let me start off by doing the first pancake. And one of the best things about the pancake art that you sort of watch and want to replicate is that it looks so clean and satisfying. So I'm going to try and keep that really clean, beautiful aesthetic. And here comes the satisfying bit. When you do the flip, it's always so clean and pretty and surprising. One, two, three. Oi, look at that! Oh, this is an actual Galaxy Tab A. Now that I've got this line around, might as well give it to one of you guys. I'll pick one random subscriber who leaves a comment to be the winner of this beautiful Galaxy Tab A. That was, I am really proud of how that, that random trans, that beautiful little bit. But let's make some actual pancake art. <laughs> and let's start off by, uh, by finding a pro and following along. Fast food pancake art. I think half of the satisfaction is obviously from the flip, but the, the first half is that, that filling in and the line process, it's pretty enchanting to watch. Then we flip. I'm gonna show their flip after I've made my pancake and we'll flip at the same time. All right, outlines first. All right, hamburger time. Bit of tomato. Oh, I think we're off to a good start. Bit of cheese going out like that. There we go. Oh, that must be egg. Oh, the, the white must be egg. And you got the beef. Who puts lettuce? under the meat in their hamburger bun. This does not make any sense. I mean, I don't mean to like immediately derail the, the direction of this, but should at least have some sesame seeds. All right, let's fill this baby in. Bun filler. I'm gonna mix this color with a little bit of white and yellow. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna blend. Give a little mix at the halfway mark. Look at this, it can't help but get incredibly ambitious, guys. All right, let's get cheesy. I'll start turning the heat up, put down the last colour, and let it cook. Right, the back of mine looks decidedly less neat than the back of theirs, but that doesn't matter. What matters is what it looks like when you flip it. So let's wait for it to cook. All right, it's flip time. I have a feeling mine's not gonna be very good. All right, you do your flip, do it, go on. Okay, oh yeah, it's really impressive. It's <laughs> gonna flip it, I've been waiting for 20 minutes. That is bloody satisfying. Look at that clean edge of the bun with it, because the toasting on the top and the bottom. I don't know about you, but I, I like mine better. <laughs> Off to a great start. Come on, guys. Come on. That's a like button click right there. I'm on fire today. I'm going to invent. I'm going to kick my innovation into high gear. We've done the clean and satisfying. Let's do the opposite. Let's go a little dirty and a little disgusting. A zombie. Yeah. Right, let's do. Do a bit of an angry eyebrow. Nose all, all torn up and zombie-like. I wonder if by like doing something as gross and as, as uh, violent and visceral as I can with pancakes and these clean, beautiful colors and lines, it's gonna end up looking whimsical and like charming and cute. I'm gonna switch to red. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this one's gonna be gnarly. Love it. Oh, he's decapitated. This is exactly what people were hoping and expecting. Little creepy zombie eye dot. They're, they're the creepiest for sure. Fill in the mouth. Gonna have some realistic detail here. A Little bit of shine. Just a couple of white little, little dots just for the highlights of the blood. Let me think about this. Cause I wanna blend the skin and I want a bit of blood. I want a bit of smearing, a bit of shadow. So let's grab some red, mix in a little bit of black and brown. Just a little bit. See that subtle color change. I just want it a little bit more shadowy on the bottom areas so the front of the base blood can stand out a little more. All right, let's 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 get ambitious. I'm gonna mix a lighter skin tone, bit of white, bit of green, zombie. Start off with the red, just along the edges of where we want the blood to be. We blend. I'm gonna leave a lighter area there and there. And now, before it cooks, let's just put it in. There you go, bit there. And then we go back. Oh man, I'm getting crazy ambitious super quick. Yellow teeth. I think that's a pretty solid base, except I'm gonna need to flatten it a bit. So I'll do, I'll just go over the whole thing in the red. All right. Now's the bit I'm weirdly excited for. I'm gonna wait for ages. <laughs> One eternity later. All right, this is uh, this is just me on my lonesome, not following along with anything. This is what I ended up making. You ready? I'm gonna flip it in. One, two, three. 
Oh my god! Oh, that's cool. I'm so glad I did a zombie. You, my friend, can join the plate of prestige. All right, is there anything online I can't meet expectations for? Challenge me, guys, what do you got? Unicorn, that seems like the direct opposite of what I just did. Let's give it a go. By Ken Squishy. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and replicate the lines. Might get creative with the, the colors, see if I can get fancier. That's my foundation. So, what have they done for colors? They've got pink streak hair, they've got different multicolored hair. How can we best innovate here? Rainbow hair. They've got rainbow hair. Are you not paying attention? I can't see it. Then shut your trap. <laughs> Bit of hair shine. Go with a nice little glisten. I feel like I also need to mix in a shadow. That bit and shadows. Quick, 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 quick. Mix that together. I haven't even flipped it and it's gorgeous. We've got purple, so I'm gonna mix my purple shadow. Do that with a little bit of blue and a little bit of black. Purple time. Gonna go straight in with the lighter bits, leave room for the shadows and boom, man, look at that. Blend. I think for yellow, I'll just use uh, orange as the shadow. And then we have one more hair color left. Let's mix the shadow with a little bit of green and a little bit of black. And last but not least, oh, should I do, should I show the face? White, and let's go a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown. All right, let's do the fur. All right, that's the light bit and shadow. Doing full gradient artworks with pancakes, guys. Let's base the whole thing in a nice pretty pink and give it a long time to cook and uh, solidify. Let's watch Ken Squishy flip his unicorn. Okay, all right. Now watch me flip. One, two, three, flip. Hey! That turned out amazing, a little overcooked. With that said, I mean, there's nothing a little color correction and post-production can't fix. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. I, I did it exactly the way I meant to. Yay! <gasps> okay. I think I should finish off in a grand finale, applying everything I've learned to one more original pancake of my own creation. We'll get innovative and ambitious and we'll go big or go home. Do you know what? It may be unoriginal because I keep doing the same thing, but I haven't done a pancake dragon yet. We're gonna start off very small because I'm gonna do a little knight figure. There's the hand holding the sword. Let's give this fella a cape. There you go, there's, there's the knight. And I think he has to be climbing a big mountain of treasure. Now I'm going for detail here. So the lines of the, tr the mounds of treasure are orange to work with the gold. And for the detail, I'm gonna come in and put in a whole bunch of little coins. That's the treasure base. All right, dragon base. I wanna go like a dark red. Black, bit of brown. And let's go like a touch of blue just to Something give it a little different, a little bit of hue variation. It's, it's, it's maroonish. That's working. Dragon color. This is gonna be, the, should be, the standout feature of the artwork here. And we'll go big spikes on the face. Big spikes back here. Whoa. Feel like his front leg should be coming over the treasure here. It's a feel huge, so I have the wing. I'll, I'll have a poke out, sort of down here, but it's the other wing that we can go. Look how big the dragon is! <laughs> big wings. What next? The lair. That's it. The lair should be quite a dark lair, so I'll just use a lot of black. Oh, too much black! Oh, great! I got black food coloring everywhere. All right, I'm gonna mix it. This is a dark gray outline to do a d the dungeon walls with. All right, there's my dark gray. Let's make a light gray. Oh, I think that's pretty good. I might go a little darker. And oh, for fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna have to be pretty bloody careful when I put this stuff on the 
because if that happens on my artwork, I'm screwed. But hey, look at that. Perfect color. Dungeon walls. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm gonna like, they'll diminish and then like at the very back they can be, it could be like black and dark. All right, I'm gonna color in my gold. Moving on to the hero. Let's give him a little blue cape. We'll give him uh, some brown pants. I feel like there's not gonna be a huge variety of colors throughout the rest of the piece. So I'm just gonna give him like a green shirt, his white sword, a uh, light brown shoulder, and my purple helmet. I'm just going for variety here. All right, dragon time. Little pupil, yellow eye, there you go. I feel like I need to get a little fancier. So let's add some orange highlighting around the arm just so it clearly separates the arm from the body. Last light bits of the wings. We'll go red. You know what, let's, let's go fancy. There's a bit of purple and then a bit of brown and black. And I'll put some of it down here and this I'll blend into that original red and then I'll use the rest on the wings. All right, got me wings. Sort of got some colors here. I wonder if I could use these for the horns. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, that is the dragon coloring done. Now we have the dungeon where I have my light gray. I'm just gonna go over the whole thing and reinforce it just in the red. And I'm gonna go really slow and steady with the cooking. Might take 20 or 30 minutes, but I wanna be able to flip it. So let's go. I've sat it on low and nothing. I couldn't have cooked it any slower. So I think this is as flippable as I'm gonna be willing to wait for it to get. So what I'm gonna do is just try and scoot your piece of paper under the pancake. Oh boy, this is gonna totally fall apart, I can tell. I definitely bit off more than I can chew with this one. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Maybe I need to come in from this angle. It's gonna be a, oh, 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 ah. No, come on, don't stick to the paper. Just go, just get in. I can't go out, I can't go back. Ah! It's gonna be absorbing into the paper. I gotta get out. No, it's tearing. I'm gonna go under the paper. There you go, I got one. I'm gonna go two. Yeah, and flip! <laughs> so close. Can we see it? Where's, there's our little hero. <laughs> there's the dragon's head. There's the treasure. <laughs> Ah, come on, that was good. Why didn't that happen the first time? Yeah, that's a success. Let me know which pancake you prefer. Also, let me know if you think I should reapproach this and see how ambitious I can get without ruining the pancake. And of course, if you leave a comment and you're a subscriber, you're already then in the running to win a little goodie. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have thoroughly enjoyed the activity. Make sure to click like. And again, if you haven't, subscribe. For more fun with art, creativity, make sure to check out more videos over there that uh, you're bound to enjoy if you enjoyed this one. Otherwise, that's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.